Rob Kardashian got money too, nigga. That nigga is still. <laughs> that nigga look like three of me. Okay, Mariah Carey, honored, blah, blah, blah. Hey, is this some real shit? Hold on. Now I got to post this real quick. Is this some real shit, gang? Y'all got to tell me this is real. Because I ain't want to post this. I don't wanna I don't wanna post this and people say I'm insensitive, but I'm gonna post it real quick. I'll tell you when it's posted. What y'all doing in here though? What's what's popping with y'all? Whoa geez, what up with you, bro? Thank you for the five. It's act. Could you go into detail about your 10-year plan? About your 10-year plan to get to where you are today as a voice of hip hop and where you wouldn't be if it didn't work out. That's probably a longer conversation. I'll probably save that for another time. Somebody said King got fights on YouTube. Well, King probably got them squabbles. Yeah, like a ten-year plan with me—it's—it's it's a long story. Um, every amazing story goes with a lot of dedication, a lot of luck, belief in God, um, work ethic, and you know things falling into place at the right time. Which I would—I would call that luck as well. You feel me? Where I, where would I be? I'd be shit. I'd be uh, uh, trying to still make it, man. I ain't gonna lie. It was a passion of mine. I, I always wanted to be here, bro. I always want to be here. Like, like honestly, when I get off stream, I watch the last couple comments. Like, if y'all niggas say L stream, like, I feel horrible for the rest of the day. I feel like I let y'all down. So, you know, I, I live a lot of my life for y'all. So, you know, because y'all afforded me an amazing life. So, you know, I'm happy it worked out. But if, if I wasn't here, I'd probably be still trying to work at getting to a place I was not necessarily comfortable on the money or, or whatever perspective, but, you know, at the end of the day, I wanted to be with the greats. I wanted to be in the conversation with the people who I looked up to. So, yeah. All right. Oh, chat. So this is what I wanted to post. I posted it. Tell me if this is insensitive. So Mariah Carey's getting honored recently. Here's my man, Stevie Wonder. Now, I ain't going to lie to you. Everybody, this is, what, this is the word, word on the street. They say Stevie Wonder can't see a motherfucking thing, but he could definitely see a fat ass. No disrespect. That's what I heard. Don't don't get mad at me. Feel me? Even Shaq got a story. Shaq got a story. Look. Shaq, um, Stevie Wonder story. He got a story right here. Right here. Listen to this. I'm going to tell you a Stevie Wonder story, but you're not going to believe it. Come on, man. No, I, 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 I know. I know no. the story. He's got to tell me. He's got to tell True story. <laughs> it's, it's a true it's story. A, so, according to Shaq. We lived in the building on Wilshire. So, you park your car in the valets down there. So, I'm already in the building. I'm coming through the lobby. <laughs> Door opens. This Stevie Wonder. He comes in, says, what's up, Shaq? <laughs> Presses the button. Hold on, you story. Presses the button, gets off on the floor, buys stuff, goes to his room. I went and called every person I knew and told the story. They believe me. No, bro, he got on the other thing. He's like, what's up, Shaq? How you doing, big dog? <laughs> so basically, Stevie Wonder, who can't see, got on the elevator, knew that you hear Can I just ask you this question again? Because I... <laughs> Go ahead. What are you talking about? What are you talking Listen, about? I'm That's saying, the craziest thing ever. I'm saying we lived in a building together on Wilshire Boulevard. Talk to me. Wait. All right. Okay. Okay. You lived in a building with Stevie. With Stevie. Okay? okay. You used to have to drive to the bottom mm -hmm. underneath to park your car. Uh -huh. I'm coming to the first floor that day. Mm -hmm. It goes down because when I got in, I didn't press the button. So it went down first. Stevie got in. I'm standing in the corner. I didn't say nothing. And he looked over and he's like, what up, Big Diesel? And he turned his head. <laughs> Hit his button and got off. <laughs> I mean, I, let, let's, Come on. I, I'm telling you what happened. I don't know if I was smelling from practice that day, but he just turned around. What's up, Diesel? Hit his button. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So Stevie's supposed to can't see. But anyway, look at this. So, yeah, Mariah getting, you know, honored. So now she, he grabs the mic. He thinks she's still over here. But she in front of this mic. He holding the mic like, Mariah, take the mic. She in front of this mic. So so they came up like, nah, Stevie. She already got a mic. But if I'm listening to Shaq's story, this nigga, bit, nigga, you seen that fat ass that M Mariah got, nigga? You know where the fuck she at. Stop playing, Stevie. I can't even. 
And the only thing that I would call cap, maybe Stevie didn't know. Oh, shit, my liquor. Right when Mariah is passing him by, he looked down a bit to, to make sure that ass and the curvature was actually, you know what I mean, reflecting off the sun and reflecting off the fucking universe. So he knew she was moving over there. So he was capping. Look. Look. Right there. He peripherally, he's checking out ass. He just played dumb. I don't know. I'm playing around. Nah, this fucked up. I shouldn't even make this type of jokes. Yeah, this is fucked up. I, ain't, I shouldn't even make this type of jokes. Yeah. I can't even. This is when he started checking out the ass right here. Oh, shit. One of them things. You feel me? Nah, shout out to my boy Stevie Wonder, man. Shout out to my boy Stevie Wonder, man. Stevie! <laughs> Jamie Foxx got a story about him, too. You ever heard the Jamie Foxx story? So, what's the, what's the thong song, dude? Uh, Cisco. For whatever reason. Take that thong song. And then all of a sudden, this one I saw a crack where a girl asked him, Mike, can I take a picture? Get the away from me. You don't want to take a picture. You want to put me back in jail. That's what you want. And, he, and we was like, oh, you want to put me back in jail? And he started. Raging and the body goes like, yo, Mike, it was like a like an animal got loose. Like, Mike, Mike, just so he's like, no, get away from me, get away from me. And I remember, literally, remember Stevie Wonder not knowing what he was doing. And Stevie was like, what? I said, and I was like, what? I said, I said, I said, I said Stevie, sit down. It ain't cool. I said, I said, Stevie, Stevie, don't you don't want to catch smile? one? Was he smiling? No, I don't know what he. Are you nervous? He he heard that he, his notion was to just flee. He had to flee. <laughs> Oh man, anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, look. Wonder was there and uh And what was he what, doing? He was on the piano. Okay. And, uh, and what's the what's the what's the thong song dude? Uh Cisco. Cisco. For whatever reason Mike didn't like Cisco. He didn't? So a big party he's like, hey, thong, hey, thong, hey, get away from me, thong song. I hate thong, I hate that. <laughs> Thong song, get out of here. I hate that thong song. I hate that thong song. And then all of a sudden, this one I saw a crack where a girl asked him, Mike, can I take a picture? Get the away from me. You don't want to take a picture. You want to put me back in jail? That's what you want. And, and we was like, oh, you want to put me back in jail? And he started raging. And the body goes like, yo, Mike. It was like a, like an animal got loose. He was like, Mike, Mike. Just, just like, get away from me. Get away from me. And I remember, literally remember Stevie Wonder not knowing what was going on. Stevie was like, what's I said. And I was like, what are you doing? I said, I said. I said, Stevie, sit down today. Yo, this motherfucker, Jamie Foxx, was so funny. He's one of the only niggas who I've listened to his full album. I've listened, I've watched pretty much damn near every movie he ever acted in. I think he's a great actor. And I've watched every, uh, well, he not didn't do too much televised stand-up, but he he got some classic, uh, I might need security, classic stand-up. Imagine, imagine being, and I listened to his R&B album. This guy is like the most talented nigga who's ever lived, who's ever been in, in, in music entertainment. He could have made it as a singer. He could have made it as an actor. Could have made it as a comedian. He could have just been on a stand-up circuit. Crazy. Like, this guy's good. Hey, cool. I said, I said, Steve, Stevie, don't, you don't want to catch one. Was he smiling? No, I don't know what he was. Are you nervous? He, he, he heard that he, his notion was to just flee. He had wait, to flee. Wait, 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 wait. So, hold on, take us back to that moment. So, Stevie. So, so Stevie on the right, piano. All right, so, so I'm going to do, I'm gonna do my time. Uh, yeah. Wait, what is going on? Give it away. <laughs> <laughs> he walking, he walking, but ain't bumping in tonight. He put all he feels saying. It says Stevie walking, but he ain't bumping in tonight. I need to see what's going on. When he starts, he says Stevie, see what was going on is that dip swinging. When he starts swinging, I need to see what the fuck's going Steve, on. You can really see. And this one we saw so <laughs> nah, this is crazy. Anyway, now nah, it's fucked up, right? I'm sorry, Chad. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man. Yo, what the fuck ever happened to my man Jamie Foxx, man? That nigga got sick. Nobody know what the fuck happened to him. I'm still in like disbelief. Like something happened, bro. Either he caught AIDS or something, man. You you know they they, they say Jamie Foxx used to have the wildest parties and like there were Diddy parties, which we now know were freak offs, then there were Jamie parties. Jamie parties were wild. Every celebrity was there. People get fucked left and right. Orgies, blah, 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 blah. 
That's what being said about Jamie Park. Back then, you had to like be the guy who was a, like you heighten your status if everybody wanted to be with you when they weren't working. So nighttime, weekends, they wanted to go to your party. So Diddy had legendary parties, but Jamie had legendary parties too. And um, yeah, you know, I think that's why he called a couple lawsuits. But still, now you look at it, you're like, what happened to him with like this random sickness that nobody wants to talk about? And he came back and he ain't talking about it. Like, yo, either that nigga called an STD, my nigga, or I don't know. I don't know. Some Illuminati shit, right? It's all good. Bet. We in this bitch, though. Happy Sunday, people. Somebody said, my nigga, you still live? Of course I'm still live. We can't get off. We can't get off without giving y'all a good five hours. Y'all niggas going. I ain't going to lie. Y'all been getting mad, like, upset at me recently. Y'all been like, man, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You fat ass motherfucker. I slap the shit out of you, nigga. You chipmunk ass, big ass, you big belly bumps on your belly ass nigga. nigga. I kill the fuck out of you. I'm like, yo, y'all niggas been going crazy on me, dog. I'm like, all right, bet. Let me just give y'all some more streams. It's all good, yo. All right, let's see what else is going on. So, I got to ask you a quick question, man. Wait, what? Yo, yo, yo. Did you see wait, did you see when I played the shit about I, yo, 69 was it was really a a a a a, 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 a transmission shit. I thought it was yeah. that was crazy. Crazy. That's just passenger princess though, huh? Nah, 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 nah. you gotta stop playing with 69. Like 69 the whole gangster nigga. Like y'all gotta you gotta stop right, playing with 69. Right, I would never be in the car with Act, would you be in the car with a with a transmission? Yeah, but when you a gangster, you do what you want. Act, I would never be in the car with a transmission. You're against you Never. That's crazy right. work. What, what was you saying though? That's uh, wow. I'll ask you a question because people don't believe me. Yeah, bro. Huh? You don't got to say the state. Back. Which coast do I live? On? You don't live on the East Coast. Why? I'm just saying, I because everybody's saying I live on the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, you know exactly where I live. I'm just letting niggas know, like, yeah, I, no, I don't you, live on the East yeah, Coast. You don't live there anymore. Uh, yo, Jasmine Vega TV. Thank you for the ten. Love you. Wait, who's a, who donated a uh, hundred dollars? Who that? Balling ass motherfucker said, "Ayo, act play that Tazi Kelele one time for the fellow chat." 